the presentation for team 9 for predicting shipment arrival times. The problem statement of a project is to predict arrival of shipments and we pose the problem as a shipment trajectory prediction problem. The data set that we used for our project was not available, like it was not prepared previously so we had to collect our own data and process it which is another contribution of our project is to create a uh, Create a, a create a data set for shipment trajectory prediction. An overview we provide first, we look at the data collection and processing techniques, and then unsupervised trajectory clustering, and then finally our prediction results. So for data collection, we used various sources of data, including web scraping and dumps of vessel locations present on the web. Uh, unfortunately, we, we were successful in doing web scraping, but unfortunately the ports that we scraped were not compatible with our data set, so we did not uh, end up using it. In spite of that, our data set was huge. It has it had 200 gigabytes of data, and we used only a subset of that data, converted into an SQL table, and the table of that subset also had 205 million rows. So we had to use Spark cluster or distributed computing to be able to handle such large amount of data set. The first part of our uh, data pre-processing was unsupervised trajectory clustering. Now why did we need to do uh, trajectory clustering? The data that we had was just like this is a table that's, uh, that shows the data set. It was just uh, a dump of all the vessel locations. And if I would query the location of one ship, this is what we would get. Now we cannot feed this thing into our uh, models, prediction models. And we also did not have the starting and ending point of any journey made by the uh, by, by a vessel, which is why we needed an unsupervised way to find out meaningful journeys taken by a vessel. So what we want to do was convert this kind of a data set into, uh, into a, a meaningful journey taken by a vessel. So for example, this big uh, aberration here corresponds to a journey that's made by a vessel from port A to port B. And we use, uh, we use clustering to find that in an unsurprised manner. This is an example of a noisy trajectory that our clustering algorithm predicts. This was uh, this is something we were able to read out of our data set by improving our clustering algorithm. But uh, the basic clustering algorithm we used was DB scan clustering algorithm based on the paper shown. And uh, we used our own linking algorithm to combine journeys if they were split into two. And the final data set had 20,000 20, 20, trajectories and 1.5 thousand trajectories for testing. So the next problem that we faced was unequal interval time series. The data that was available to us, uh, the data points that were available to us were at unequal distances in time. So the same, uh, the trajectory or the locations for the same vessel could be like two data points could be one minute apart or they, they could be uh, two minutes apart with almost equal likelihood. So our, and this was creating a lot of problem in getting any kind of accuracy in predictions. So we had to convert this data set to an equal interval time series. And the solution we came up with was curve fitting. We overfit the trajectory with a very high degree polynomial. Our aim was not to find the right polynomial that would uh, generalize on the trajectory but to overfit on it so that now we could sample uh, from this polynomial at our desired uh, frequency, at our desired uh, time interval, uh, fixed time interval, and we would get a fixed time interval time series. And these are kind of uh, the uh, curve fittings that can be seen in this plot and they look pretty decent. So finally, uh, here are our predicting trajectory path results. We use linear regression to make predictions of trajectory paths. Uh, we were able to, so we divide the prediction into three types. One was a successful prediction, uh, which reached the final destination. One was, one was an unsuccessful prediction, which uh, mostly the trajectory was uh, going fine, but it diverged at a certain point and the end location wasn't the same as the ground truth. And the third case was a blow up. We did also have blow up where uh, the ship would just go uh, way out of range of where it should. For example, the a longitude, like one degree longitude is about 100 miles. So this has basically traveled like, uh, 100,000 miles in the prediction, which is, or 10,000 miles in the prediction, which is obviously incorrect. Uh, we also saw the accuracy increase with the context size. The context size is the window of past time sequences we provide as input to the model for prediction. So this is a, a plot for that. And these are the different technologies we use for our project. And in conclusion, uh, in our project, we provide a novel tra trajectory prediction data set and also baseline results on the data set. And as a future work, we want to improve on the baseline results on the data set using various time series prediction methods. The estimated time of arrival three algorithms were for look. Esky boost is a common critique boost the algorithm from the speaker. We can see that the first speaker has more important than the second speaker. So from the F score, we can see that this has a higher number of space for that particular speaker. We can linear resolution used here with the learning rate of 0.01, the maximum depth of 5. Again, 10 Esky meters has a higher performance peak, but poor performance is observed. For SVM, we sampled equal number of points from the categories and the corresponding time stamps. We scaled the category points to work with the SVM using Skankle Scaler. There, we can see that the sizes heavily influence the SVM speak, so this leads to a lot of careful tuning. The performance varied across kernel camps. The Sigma kernel performed better than the linear kernel. So the category is to make a time of arrival, not a trick in terms of minutes and seconds. But we had better performance with year and month. The random forest we used to predict the next step in practically. This forest was used in the degree of the cook and how it took columns. It probably produced sugary performance, but maybe improved mass with parameter tuning.